So let's this start now being recorded. to present the screen so that you can take a look at what we are doing. And here we are. Suppose that we are in the in the document right now. So I suppose that you can see it, girls. And let's get this started. Okay. Um, I remember that in the in the other class we started with a with a PowerPoint presentation to to ask you different questions. And if you remember, we were practicing the the comparatives with this question about the about we were asking about the tacos and um, and pizza, asking which of these two dishes uh, was uh, more delicious. We also asked this one about the stores, and we also asked about these countries, yeah, to know which one was bigger. And we also asked about the animals and the alphabets, and but we didn't ask this one about the the social media. So who would like to to participate to tell me from these two social media which one do you think is better? Who wants to participate? Come on. Come on, girls. There to participate so that you can tell me which of these two social media is better. Uh, Instagram is better um, the Facebook. Exactly, I think that's right. Okay, Instagram you think is better than Facebook, maybe for the pictures or stuff like that. Another another lady would like to give her opinion. Maybe someone here likes uh, more Facebook instead of Instagram. Come on, tell me something. Vanessa, Raquel, Marcelina, come on, there to participate. <laughs> Yo sigo aquí en mi trabajo, pero estoy intentando escuchar la clase. That's okay. No problem. No problem. That's okay. Or any other girl who would like to participate? How about how uh, how about you, Diane? Do you want to participate? Which of these two and social media is better? No, nothing to say. All right, we go on with another. How about you, Vanessa? Do you want to participate? Mami, piche. Mambane, which of these two social media is better for you? Facebook. Come on, but say it in a sentence. Facebook is, come on. Um. Okay, Marcelina wants. Come on, Marcelina. Let's go. Um, Instagram is more popular than Facebook. Than okay, Facebook. very good. It's more popular than Facebook. That's okay. And Thank you. anyone else who wants to say another opinion, I I want you to use the adjective "good," everyone, instead of "others." Come on. Are you ready, Vanessa? Okay, Raquel wants. Come on, Raquel. Um, Facebook is better than Instagram. Magnificent. That's exactly what I was looking for. Very good. So remember, girls, that in the video that I sent you, uh, I was mentioning that there are some adjectives that are um, like special, yes? And one of them is that. But let me show you very quickly. Uh, the list of the of the adjectives that are special so that you can remember they are three or while I look for the presentation I don't know if if somebody remembers which are the which are the the three adjectives that are special that they have different rules do you remember while I look for the presentation maybe somebody can tell me come on Okay, you want Raquel or not? Yo, yo recuerdo. Mm -hmm, okay. Yeah, yeah, just tell me. It's okay. I hear you. Um, 
Bueno, yo recuerdo de la presentación que cuando el, el, el comparativo, el sí, me parece el comparativo era demasiado corto y terminaba en vocal consonante, se duplicaba la consonante. Exactly, el, that's very el, good. El super, la, bueno, la tabla, la que aparecía al final, es que uno es el, el adjetivo, o sea, como que si vamos a describir algo. En el comparativo es cuando algo tiene comparación con otra cosa. Y el superlativo es que nunca va a tener comparación. Ya sea wow. en bueno, en malo o en o la última. No recuerdo la última. Ok, I think that's very good, exactly. And talking about what you were saying, here we have the three special adjectives, like, for example, the adjective is good. And when you want to uh, make a comparison, it's uh, better, yeah? It's not correct to say more good, no, or gooder, no. That's not a word. That's not correct. It's better for making comparisons. And for superlatives, as you were saying, we have to say the best, yeah? For example, good changes to better for comparative and for the superlative form is the best. And the same happens with bad, worse, and the worst. Then we have far, farther, and far the farthest. These, these are the exceptions. And taking in consideration what you were saying exactly, because the, the short adjectives, like the ones you mentioned, when the adjective is very short, Uh, you have to repeat the last consonant uh, in order to make the comparative or superlative like this. For example, big, it's a short adjective that has the vowel and the consonant. So when we change it to the comparative, look at this, it becomes uh, like this way, bigger with double G because we are repeating the letter and it's ER, it's big, bigger, and the same happens with the superlative because it's the biggest, yes? You wanted to say something, Andrea? Come on. Um, I recuerdo, teacher, que cuando la, el adjetivo es corto, se le agrega una consonante más, ¿verdad? Por eso tiene doble G, por ejemplo, bigger. Correct. And the same happens here because it's fat, Fatter, we have a double T, and for the superlative is the fattest with double T. Okay, I think it was very good your intervention. Thank you. And let's continue. So why don't we go back to the to the questions that I was asking you so that we can take them and keep on participating, girls. Yeah, I dare you to participate. Here we have some more uh, questions, right? You're gonna see in the in the right side, you know this dictator, his name is Adolf Hitler. And in the other side, we have got uh, another dictator, but from North Korea, his, his name is Kim Jong-un. He is uh, currently the president of North Korea. And the adjective that we are using is bath. As you can see, we are using for the previous one and for this one, we are using uh, adjectives that are uh, special. So when you compare bad, remember that it becomes worse, okay? So I would like to ask someone like, for example, uh, Alma, are you there? Which of these two dictators do you think is worse between Kim Jong and Adolf Hitler? Uh, Hitler. <laughs> hey, come on, make the sentence, Alma. Hitler is. Come on. Sería um, Hitler is more bad. Tan, tan, tan uh, coreano. Okay. Can you check the chat, Alma? Because remember that bad is a special adjective, Alma. Take a look at this. We have just show it some moments ago. Check this out. Uh, it's worse. Worse, exactly, Alma. Yes. So can you 
you please modify the sentence? Come on. Uh, Hitler. Hitler is worse, worse mm -hmm. than um, Korean. Kim, Kim Jong. Kim Jong. Jong. Exactly. Very good, Alma. You did it very good. So let me show you the next one. All right. Here we have two different insects, ladies. We have got the, the fly. This is a fly. And the other side, we have got a bee. This is a bee. So let me ask you, uh, who can I ask, like, what if you tell me, Maria Fernanda, from these two insects, which one is smaller between the fly and the bee? Come on, Maria Fernanda. Um, flyer is uh, la mosca. Okay, yeah, fly, fly. Fly, fly. Fly is smaller. Yeah. That B? Dan. Remember, it's with the Dan. letter N. Dan B. Exactly. Dan B. Very Fly. good, Maria Fernanda. You did it very it's good. It's smaller than B. Exactly. Fly is smaller than B. Very good. Let's go on to the next. Ah, okay. Here we have two, um, two superheroes. But in the picture, they are not superheroes. They are the um, uh, common person that in one side we have Bruce Banner, yeah, the famous scientist, and Tony Stark from the movie Avengers. So which of these two do you think it can, uh, he can be more intelligent? Do you want to, do you want to say Aide from Bruce, between Bruce Banner and Tony Stark, who is more intelligent? Uh, Tony is more intelligent Bruce Barnett than, than Bruce Barnett. Sorry. Yes, be careful with the structure right there because it's necessary to to follow the structure, uh, the, the structure with every element. It's. Can you repeat it? Tony Stark is more intelligent than uh, Bruce Barnett. Very good idea. In this way, it's much better. So I think that we have the last picture, girls. And in one side, we have a lion. And in the other side, we have a tiger. So the adjective that we are going to use is wild. Yeah. Wild is like, it's a little bit aggressive, rude, you know. So between these two animals, who do you think is wilder, right? Let me ask another. How about Karen? Karen, are you there? Hello, Karen, can you hear me? We wonder if you could tell us this example, if you are there. If not, let me select another, or are you ready? Ah, oh, you don't have a micro, okay, that's okay. Um, Hi, hello? Yeah. Come on, Cynthia. Let's do it. Um, um, I think the lion is wildest than Wild, wilder because we are comparing. Wild, wilder. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, the lion is wilder than tiger. Correct. And let me tell you, you are right, cause. I was watching a, a YouTube video, and in the YouTube video, they were saying that um, there was a there was a circus, yeah, mm -hmm. and they had a tiger and they had a a lion, so they ran out of their cage and they started to fight, and the, and the lion killed the tiger. But uh, to be honest, these are two animals that they never have to cross uh, with each other. But if we could measure the, the strength and the force of these two animals, the lion wins. Okay, so let's keep on going and look at this. It's time to practice a little bit about the superlatives, students, so that we can learn how to make sentences. I suppose that you have already watched the video about the superlatives that I share with you. Um, I think it was yesterday or today in the morning, but in the video, I was telling you that uh, as uh, 
it was explained before, yeah? The superlatives are when there is no comparison with anything else, yeah? It can be a good comparison or a bad comparison, but the element or the person or the thing that you are mentioning doesn't have any comparison with the rest of things. So remember, for adjectives with one or two syllables, yeah, the ones that are short, we have to add the, yeah, it's important to use the plus the ending EST, yeah. Here are some examples about that, yeah. You can see the adjective young, right? The youngest, check it out. When you turn it to a superlative, is the youngest, and the sentence is this, right? I'm going to like um, call someone to participate. Kenya, are you there? Can you help me to read this sentence? Can I, teacher? <laughs> yes, 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 of course, Cynthia. Do you like The Simpsons, Cynthia? Um, not at not all. Really, right? <laughs> no. Not at all? all right. No, but it's okay. okay. Um, but young. You, you know the characters, right? Yes. Um, young, the youngest. Maggie is the youngest of the Simpsons family. Okay, Cynthia, I, got, I have another question for you. Look at this. Okay. Let me tell you some information, okay? Um, Maggie is like uh, the youngest one. And then uh, Lisa, I suppose you know her. She's seven yeah. years old. And Bart, he's got nine years old. Yeah, as far as I know, or 10. So from these three um, characters, who is the oldest one? Bart. Come on, why don't you make it a, turn it to a sentence? Uh, um, Bart is the oldest um, brother or sibling? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or sibling. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Of the Simpsons family. Very good, very good, Cynthia. It's like that, just like that. Okay, mm -hmm. students, let let me keep on telling you more info. Here, we have another example about uh, the adjective big. Yeah, if you remember, for this adjective, we have to add another g. So we turn it to the biggest. And here is the sentence: Elephant is the biggest land animal of the world, as you can see it, yeah? But let me tell you something, right? I'm talking about land animal because if we check it out in comparison with other animals, for example, the water ones, it turns that the elephant is not the biggest animal in the world. Somebody here knows which is the biggest animal of the world, whether if it's land or water animal. No? No. No. You have no idea? Okay, students, that's normal. But I dare you to find it out. Let me let me show you how are you gonna find it out. So here, let me stop presenting very quickly. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you uh, a link that you're going to to watch um, very quickly. It's not so long. And the video lasts only like, like two minutes. But in this video, you are gonna find some of the, of the most important uh, water animals, yes? And let me share with you the link so that you can see the, the vocabulary. And you will tell me which is the biggest animal of the world. So I'm looking for the link, students. Hold on just a second. Nice. As soon as I got it, I'm going to um, show you, I'm going to share with you the link. Yes, I have it ready. So if you take a look at your chat, in this moment, you're going to see the, the link. Yes. Could you please click so on that? Okay. Maybe. Check the video. Check the video. I'm going to send it to... Uh, in this moment? Yes, please check it out. It's very quickly. It only lasts two minutes. Come on. And after that, we review this vocabulary very quickly. Come on, girls. 
we get back in two minutes when the video is over. Hello girls, did you finish with the pictures of the water animals or what? Yes. So uh, which is the biggest one, Cynthia? The blue whale. That's right. Let me share with you the words so that we can just quickly review a little bit about the pronunciation from these animals and after that we get back to the um to the topic of the superlatives and the conversation about that do you want to do you want to help me with this vocabulary indira are you there who who indira Monday? But, okay are you ready indira come on here is the vocabulary please repeat well okay shark Shark, dolphin, fish, seal, walrus. Correct, walrus. Turtle. Nice. Octopus. Uh huh. Je jellyfish. Jellyfish. Can you repeat? Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Correct. Stringer. Stingray. Stingray. Can you repeat? Stingray. Stingray. Exactly. Here it eel. goes. Eel. Correct. Lobster. Lobster. Please repeat. Lobster. Lobster. Nice. Crab. And that's all. And we still have more. Come on. Uh, Rim. Okay, I'll help you with the pronunciation, Indira. Shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah, Shrimp. much better. Very good. Starfish. Yeah. Sea urchin. Uh, anemone. Anemone. Can you repeat anemone? Anemone. Yes. Seahorse. Oyster. Clam. Pelican. Correct. Seagull. And that's all. Very good, Indira. You did it very good. Congratulations. So, Thank you. Well, students, well, students, you saw that the biggest land animal on Earth is the whale, as you could see. So why don't we go back to the 
to the topic of the superlatives to keep on checking the rules. And after that, we keep on uh, watching the other presentation so that we can talk a little bit more and practice with what we have learned. So we were in this slide. You will see it in a moment. Uh, it's not ready yet. Let me check it out what's going on. Okay, there it is. Let's like make it a little bit bigger and here we are. Okay, we have already mentioned this about the vowels. And let me see, cause once again is not presenting what I was expecting to show you. So let's try all over again. Technical difficulties as always, and let's try again. Here we go, once again, no problem. And here we are, we make it bigger, we present, and you will start to watch it in a couple of seconds. Let me see, let me see. It's loading. And there is it, students, here we go. And here we have the adjectives that we have mentioned. But remember that for the superlatives, yeah, with adjectives with more than two syllables, I'm talking about three, four, or five syllables, you have to use the plus most plus the adjective, all right? So it's like this, the adjective doesn't change, yeah? It is something that you have to remember. Please don't change the adjective because it stays exactly the same. Here are some examples. All right, here we have a lady. So we say the most beautiful girl, right? The most beautiful woman. Here we have another one. Look at this mouse. It looks very innocent, but no, it's not. It's dangerous. So we have the most dangerous animal, right? So here we have another one, yeah? Let me choose another person to read, okay? Like who hasn't participated today. How about Stephanie? Stephanie, can you help us to read this example? Are you there? Sí, Come on. Intelligent. Lisa is the most intelligent of the Simpson family. Okay, Stephanie, do you like the TV program, The Simpsons, or you don't like it? Do you like it? Do you like The Simpsons? Do you like Simpsons? Yes. Okay. And who, okay, if Lisa is the most intelligent of The Simpsons family, who do you think is the, the most stupid of The Simpsons family? <laughs> maybe Homer, maybe Bart. Funny, do you have your subtitles on? Homer Simpson. Uh -huh, maybe Homer, maybe Bart. I don't think March, but do you want to make the sentence, Maria Fernanda? Muy poquito, pero creo que sí sería el. Come de... on, let's go. Hey. Come on, make the sentence. Homer, Homer okay. Simpson is the most stupid of the Simpson family. Magnificent. That's the way it has to be. I have another question for you. Um, from the um, from the girls of the Simpsons family, uh, who do you think is the cutest of the Simpsons family? March, Lisa, Maggie. Who do you think? Come on, Maria Fernanda, tell us. What is the what is the verb? The, 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 the question, verb? okay. Uh, okay. From Maggie, Lisa, and March, who do you think is the cutest? Cutest. When I say cute, I am like, for example, talking about pretty, beautiful, you know? Who is the cutest of the Simpsons family? Maggie is the most. No, is the most. Cutest? No, it's the cutest. Because check it out, Maria Fernanda. Remember, when the ah. adjective is short, it's you short. say yes. the yes. cutest. Yes. Uh -huh, okay. Exactly. But, but if it's long, it's like this most and the adjective. But okay. here, the adjective that we are using is cute. Okay? Come on, try again. It's 
Okay. Maggie is the curate of the Simpson family. Very good, Maria Fernanda. You did it just fine. Congratulations. So let's go on to the next. Here, I was showing you, students, once again, I want you to be aware of this course. Uh, here we have a, a chart with the adjectives that I told you they are different. Yes. Please don't make the mistake to say uh, gooder and better. No, that's not okay. Remember, here are the three uh, adjectives that are special for comparatives and superlatives. So please try to remember them. And why don't we go back to the slides? Yeah. Remember that something very important about participating it's to listen so in the following sentences that we are going to see we are going to uh, learn uh, what to answer but it's important let me tell you something right it's important it's essential that you have your subtitles on yes because if you have your subtitles on you can watch everything that i say that's the first thing and secondly you need to have your translator open in your computer or in your phone so that if you see some sentence or a word that you don't understand you have to check it out okay so here i have a question right why don't we start cynthia so that everyone can see how is it and then i start asking to the to the other girls all right so cynthia what is the most disgusting food you have ever tasted um the most disgusting food I ever tasted is habas. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know este, how do you say habas in English, but okay. what if what if you check it very quickly and you tell us, come on? Remember, Wait. do you have your translator open or what? Come on, Cynthia. Meanwhile, yes, you can tell us by the chat what did you research and let me ask to another person. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's it? broad beans. Broad what? beans. Broad beans. Broad the, beans. The, the most disgusting food I ever tasted is uh, broad beans. Broad beans. Very good. Very good. You did it just fine, Cynthia. So let me ask another girl. How about you, Raquel? Do you want to participate? What is the most disgusting food you have ever tasted? Come on, Raquel, are you still there? Since not, let's go with Marcelina. Are you there, Marcelina? Sería uh, most disgusting food. Um, I, I. Most disgusting. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna help you, Marcelina. Come on. The, come on. The most disgusting, 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 disgusting food. 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 I, I, I have. Um, continue, have, continue, continue. <laughs> Had ever tasted? Tasted. Tasted. Tasted is? Is um, broccoli. Broccoli. Okay, okay, okay. Broccoli and raw beans. So let me ask another. Do you want to, do you want to participate, Ilse, or you are still busy? You're still busy, I suppose, yes, because you didn't answer that quick. So why don't we go on with another? Do you want to say something, Vanessa? Come on, tell us, Vanessa. Mande. Come on, what is the most disgusting food you have ever tasted? Um. Come on, I help you there. Come on, Vanessa, you just have to read the, the, the most disgusting food I, I, I have mm -hmm. ever tasted, 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 uh -huh. tasted is what, is, um, I, 
¿Cómo se dice? Check your translator, Vanessa. Remember, you need to have your translator open in case you don't know how to say something. Mm -hmm. um. Because if you don't check it out, you're going to have Spanish interference, remember. Uh, esto creo que se dice igual, ¿no? Claro, ¿no? <laughs> Carnitas. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, yeah, because it's a Mexican dish. Mexican dish, dishes they don't have translation to English. Can you repeat? Come on, the most. Okay. Come on. Uh, the most disgusting food I have ever tasted uh, is is, is <laughs> ¿Cómo me dijo? Carnitas is the same. Oh, it's carnitas. <laughs> yeah, because it's in, it's uh, something from Mexico, so you don't translate Mexican stuff like, for example, tacos, chicharrón, pozole. You cannot translate it to English because it's from the Spanish language and it's Mexican. Okay. okay. Thank you, Vane. So let's go on to the next question, ladies. The next one is movie, all right? What is, okay, I can see that someone raised their hand, but I cannot see who was, so come on, speak. You want to say? Come on, who raised their hand? No one? Hello? Can you speak? Yeah, profe. Yes, come on, let's go. Is the longest movie you have ever watched is telenovelas? Uh, but it's movie, movie, Alma. Okay, I there, come on. Uh, I see you have Como de terror? Uh, uh -huh, but you have to say movie, exactly. Come on, Alma, let's go. And then we have Indira, come on. Uh, is the long, longest movie you have ever watched is movie terror? Okay, but look at this. You don't say you, it's I, because you are answering. So the, the longest movie I have ever watched is, and you have to say the name of the movie, like, for example, I don't know, The, the Conjurer, uh, Chucky, um, I don't know, uh, The Ring. Come on, can you repeat? Yes. The longest movie you have I, I. ever watched? Uh-huh. Uh, an exorcista? The exorcist. Alma, remember that you have, you need to have your translator open, Alma, all right? Because if not, you are going to have Spanish interference. Aide, you want to speak? Come on, Aide. The longest movie I have ever watched, uh, Tangled. Okay, very good. Okay, Re uh, Tangled, the one from, uh, it's an animated movie, right? Yes. Okay, yes, Tangled. Yeah, very good idea. So I can see that another Indira, you wanted to speak? Come on. So, yes, is the longest movies you have ever watched is Buscando Nemo. Okay, okay. Nemo, all right, very good. Let me show you another one. And here we got, okay. Now you want to say another, Stephanie? Come on, I hear you. The, the last movie you have ever watched? watched? Mm -hmm. I, I think that you have the, the volume very high of your television. I cannot hear you very good. So remember, students, it's not you, it's, it's I, I have ever watched. Yes. Can you repeat, Stephanie? Yes, please. I hear is have ever watched. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
Okay. I cannot hear you, lady. I'm so sorry, but you have your television very high. You wanted to participate, Marcelina? Yes. Um, is the longest movie and have ever watched um, Forrest Gump? Ah, Forrest Gump, because it lasts like three hours, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marcelino. You did it very good. Okay, okay. Give me just a moment, because I wanted to tell you before we continue before we go on. And 